Are you ready for a yummy food trip across Southeast Asia? I know I am. Come along and experience ASEAN. So on this episode, we are going to explore the exotic foods of Southeast Asia. I must admit, I'm feeling quite excited about this, but a little bit of dread at the thought of this. Here at Cha Roy Hong Tit, where we have uh, this exotic, as exotic as you can get here. These are actually river worms. So, uh, you want to take one scoop of. So, as you can see over there, a little bit of tiny worms here. Now, these worms are in uh, coastal areas in the autumn, can be easily found. Um, and then you fry it in that batter. So with omelette and there is uh, ground pork and tangerine slices and uh, onions as well. All right, so this is char roy and I'm gonna eat it. Mm. I'm trying not to think of it because I know I'm eating worms, but if you're looking for like big worms like those kinds that think of, now don't be disappointed because you can't really see them. Right now, the proper way of eating char roy is you dip it in the uh, Vietnamese sauce here. The uh, char roy itself, it's a bit greasy, it's fried, it's oily, but you know, it's great for an afternoon snack. It's got hints of tangerine, and the sauce enhances the citrusy flavor of it, and a little bit of bitterness actually. Uh, it's really, well, it tastes deep fried, so it's, uh, for me at least, it's better than a uh, regular omelette. Uh, hey, you know what? It's omelette with lots of proteins because it has worms in them. Right now, we are in Jakarta and this is Beautica. It used to be a salon that serves uh, Manado snacks and it's now a restaurant that serves Manado cuisine. This is one of three outlets and it is the first. It's been around since 1997. And uh, any guesses what we're having today? Bats. I bet you didn't expect that, didn't you? This is paniki. To prepare it, the hair from the bat is removed by burning it off. And the meat is then cooked in a lot of spices. And I'm gonna take a bite of this. Okay. It takes a while to chew that. Now, uh, instantly you get the spiciness, uh, which actually masks the gaminess of the uh, flavor of the meat. Um, it's like, a, I would say it's like eating a mutton or, or venison. It's chewy, yeah. The meat is chewy. I'm gonna have a, one more bite. Mm. You gotta be careful with the bones. I have um, small, small fine bones actually. And, um, okay. This must be a bat wing. Now, um, the bat wing is like, uh, like eating seaweed, I would say. Uh, but the bat meat itself, it's a little bit chewy. And um, it's quite tasty actually. I think this goes better with rice, uh, but you can eat it on its own as well. What's good about the way this dish is cooked is that it makes exotic food a little less daunting uh, to anyone who wants to try it. And uh, in Beautica, um, you can order this dish alongside any of the other dishes here. All in all, I'd say this is the bad first of champions. Fertilized duck embryo. And this one has been incubated for 14 days, then ball in the shell, and then ballot in a tempura batter, and then fried. And the one we have here sits on a base of 
um, salted egg aioli with a honey spice vinegar sauce. Now, fun fact, this resto bar is actually called empacho, which actually means pain from indigestion. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna take this part here. Well, it actually tastes like egg yolk. Quite squishy. Some people say it's a good hangover food or an aphrodisiac. But I have to warn you though, usually you find these on the streets and it doesn't really look like this. Okay, so this is Malang Tod, which literally means fried insects. And this is exotic food, Bangkok version. Oh no, I've got to admit, I've never had any of this, or close to this in my entire life. And I'm gonna have to try it now. We will begin with crickets. Here goes. I'm trying not to think about it. But it's actually crispy and really tasty. Yeah, I'm gonna have another one. It's really good. <laughs> well, okay. Let's take it up a little notch. Another version of crickets, okay? It's a black color one. There's no smell. There's no uh, yucky feel. It's, uh, it's very crispy. It's a little bit juicy, yeah? <laughs> okay, now we go for the silkworms, okay? Okay, this really crumbles in your mouth. Um, a little bit of juice, and when I ate it, it's just, uh, I'm just trying not to think of what I'm eating. Okay, now for the ultimate Level up. This is scorpion. Okay, see? Alright, now I'm just gonna uh, take a bite off the... Uh, I'm just gonna bite off the uh, center here. Mm. Well, the shell is crispy, mm, but it's got a bit of a... Mm, black, a darkened taste, like a blackened, bitter taste to it. Not as good as the crickets, I've got to say. As much as the scorpions are highly rated, this is still my favourite, the crickets. Exotic food isn't for everyone, but Southeast Asians have been eating them for decades if not centuries. All I gotta say is keep an open mind and let the flavors surprise you. Dare your friends to experience ASEAN by sharing them this episode. See you next time. <laughs>